So today I wanted to tell you about one of the philosophies I have regarding picking colleges for your college list. Have you heard about best fit colleges? I believe that you should have three critical points balanced in order to uh, find the best fit colleges. Those are academic fit, cultural fit, and financial fit. What does that mean? Well, let me start with the academic fit because I think most students, most parents, when they're thinking about what colleges should be on the student's list, they start there. What is the academic, you know, what is your student's academic GPA? Grade point average can be weighted or unweighted based on the number of honors or AP classes that he or she is taking. Um, it can also relate to a potential major. If they have an idea about any professional degrees they may you know, want to pursue, medical school or law school or uh, master's or anything like that. Uh, but also things like um, what kind of learning environment is best for uh, the student. Some kids do better in smaller environments and some kids do better in larger environments. So think about when you're, uh, you know, in high school, you may just have 30 kids in the class, but in college, you can have lectures with literally hundreds of students, 500 students, as well as discussion sessions with 10 students. So think about which one would be a better learning environment for kids if, um, and then, and then uh, have a determination about academic fit. Another thing is open and closed classrooms, right? Uh, when I say open classrooms or open, I should say open curriculum, uh, the curriculum is very, 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 you know, can be interdisciplinary, unstructured. You, the student gets to select what kind of classes to take. Uh, the opposite would be uh, a school with a core curriculum, meaning there are a lot of required classes uh, and you, know, you don't have as much freedom. That has nothing to do with the quality of education. It's just a, a different schools have different personalities. So you just wanna have an understanding of what the school's offerings are and make sure that it matches the student's needs. The second topic is cultural fit or social fit because, you know, college is more than just the academics, right? Uh, just like when your student is in high school, they have a rich extracurricular life. Well, if those act extracurricular activities uh, are interesting, you probably want to continue them in college. So whether they are uh, athletics or music or art or debate or robotics or languages or anything else uh, that makes, you know, it, it makes that environment great, the experience great in high school, you want to continue that in college. But there's also other things. Uh, many times you're going to go to a place different from home. How, what is your comfort zone with regard to distance from home? Mm, should it be in the same, uh, like say Northern California or within the state, adjacent states, West Coast, East Coast, there's lots of things. So the thing about the comfort zones is that you want to go right at the edge of your comfort zone because I think that's where the growth is, is greatest, right? You don't, usually I think by staying too close to home, you know, there's a, you know, you don't have the experience of meeting people who are different ethnicities, different, you know, from a different demographic group. Part of college is getting exposed to people who are different. Um, that said, you want to see how are they from the liberal conservative spectrum, right? Or again, about demographics. Do you, you know, if you're, if you're, home environment or your community where the, the you grew up in has a certain demographic mix. What do you want to see in your college, right? And be open about differences because that again, you know, you meet people from different states, different, um, um, with different values and kind of tests you and that's part of growing as well. Uh, what else does cultural fit include? Hmm, things like your personality, 
right? I like to work with students and do some personality tests. Uh, let's say Myers-Briggs, uh, which uh, can indicate what kind of uh, learning environment might be optimal as well. Introverts, extroverts, they may have a preference. Also, uh, RIASEC, which is about skills and experiences, interests, because those can, mm, you want to make sure that you have a good fit in that regard as well. Mm, if you have a student with any mental health concerns, I mean, right now, uh, anxiety and depression is a big concern among young people and if they have been a concern for your student then you want to make sure that your the school is also one that is supportive different schools have different reputations regarding stress and how they take care of their students and especially during this pandemic you want to make sure that the school has resources and you know whether it's people or a hotline or just a culture that is more collaborative and supportive of students if they're in need of help. The third, the third, uh, you know, pillar that I want to talk about is called financial fit. Really, financial fit is sometimes it's been on the back burner. It is the white elephant really because every college every university has a price tag and we want to honor whatever your family can afford you shouldn't be thinking okay kid you know you're going to go to the best school that you can get into well actually no you can only go to the best school that you can afford and what is that number well that's not easily uh it's easier it, well it take it there are a couple of steps right because there is the cost of tuition, uh, which can range. Like in a CSU, um, the cost of attendance is about $25,000 per year per student. For a UC, it's more um, about $35,000 per year per student. And out-of-state schools, that ranges, but let's say about 50K. In private schools, there's anywhere between 65, 75K, sometimes even more. But that's, and that's the cost of attendance. Sometimes there are additional hidden costs of attendance as well, uh, you know, such as a fifth year of college, as well as insurance, laptops, etc. But the good news is that there's also financial aid and a lot of uh, mystery surrounds college aid but I think we my job is to help unravel all of that so whether you're talking about the need-based aid which is which means that need is basically on a sliding scale or you're talking about merit aid which is for students based on merit academic merit athletic merit leadership merit, things like that. All of those things can help in uh, increasing a, a child's uh, financial aid package. So, you know, um, how can you get merit aid? What do I qualify for? There are many tools that can be used, different calculators, and those are the things that I like to share with my families. So there you have it. Those are the three pillars that make up the the, basically the formula for finding best fit colleges for your college list, academic fit, cultural fit, and financial fit. If you are interested in learning more or hearing about these topics, I encourage you to, to check out my college knowledge webinars. I have a series of webinars related to college research as well as financial literacy. These are really uh, timely topics any year but particularly so this year because of the pandemic we really have to make sure that you build a correct list again that has um you know reach schools high targets targets as well as likely schools because uh, no one wants to get admitted to a school and then at the very last minute you know finding out that your family can't afford the dream school right so that that's basically the a, a terrible scenario that every family should avoid so 
part of this involves having heart to heart conversations about all of these things. And again, remember that college admissions is a journey. It's not it's not a it's not an event. It's really a journey. And I'm hoping that I can help you with that journey. Uh, so again, check it out, College Knowledge Webinars, and also check me out on uh, Facebook as well. I have a Facebook page, and you can check me out on my Facebook Lives. Thank you, uh, planeteducation.com. Bye-bye.